All right, so we're continuing our edition of the Sports Max Zone, talking some more football, this time of the JPL type. Well, as the Ray and Nephew Jamaica Premier League resumed early on Wednesday with Round 5 action, here's a reminder of the results from Round 4. So we have Malines United blanking Chapelton Maroons 4-0, a 1-0 draw between Humberline and Harbour View. Portview United a 2-0 win against Bay United, Waterhouse 1-0 against Tivoli Gardens, Cavalier 4-1 versus Don Beholden, Mount Pleasant a 4-0 win versus Racing United and Montego Bay United getting a 1-0 win against Arnett Gardens. Let's take a look now how the points table look. All right, so this is Cavalier at the top of the table on 10 points. Montego Bay United in second, Harborview in third, and Mount Pleasant. They round out the top four. Then, of course, in fifth and sixth position, we have Portmore United and Waterhouse. At the bottom of the table, uh, you can see Tivoli Gardens and Don Beholden. Remember, the top six teams qualify for the JPL playoffs. All right, well, apart from that, now round five got on the way with Portmore getting a 2-1 win over, over Harbour View. The Don Beholden, Tivoli and Racing United Cavalier matches were both postponed due to weather conditions. We have four more fixtures to come later today. That would be with Waterhouse hosting Bay United at 6 p.m. local time, that's 7 p.m. in the Eastern Caribbean. Before Montego Bay United, welcome Malines United to the Catherine Hall Sports Complex at 7 p.m. local time. Well, Chapelton Maroons are currently facing Humber Lion live on Sportsmax 2. And of course, as you can see in our live look in Chapelton, nil all against Humber Lion in the 25th minute lands. So, um, you know, no goals yet. You, Ricardo always teases me because I like matches with a lot of goals. So none of that for me just yet. Yeah, and and it's good to see the upcoming matches. Arnett Garns taking on Mount Pleasant. That's a 7.30 game at the Trenchdown Sports Complex. Uh, Victor Montaliani and his CONCACAF entourage will be watching that match. <laughs> yes. I suspect that they'll just go by uh, their, their, their hotel now and, and freshen up before going on to that to that match because they are going to watch the match for sure. Interesting look at the points table where we have become accustomed in recent seasons to see the promoted teams occupying the relegation spots and that isn't happening now because Chapleton and uh, Racing United above the relegation positions uh, Portmore United moving up with that result that they had earlier on today but uh, I know it's early in the season but Tivoli and Dunn Beholden to be occupying the relegation spots at the moment <laughs> looks almost incongruous yeah, looks because strange. these are these are top teams i suspect that they will recover and and move up but i'm, I'm happy to see that chapleton maroons and racing at least for now are not occupying those relegation spots because we've grown accustomed in recent times to see the promoted teams uh going back down to the the parish leagues immediately yeah, I won't be too worried if I were those teams because, you know, as you rightfully said, Lance, a lot of football still to come. Uh, the JPL is one of those competitions that are very competitive, you know, different teams really trying to elevate themselves and put on a competitive show. So I'm not too worried for those teams that are highlighted in red. As you said, it looks a bit weird on the table, but a lot more football to come and we'll be keeping an eye right here on their home of champions. Yeah, and uh, we've had a lot of rain in Jamaica today. So yeah. A couple of the games postponed already, but as we saw there, the Humberland, Chabotin, Maroons, Clarendon derby is, is on there at the Trenchdown Sports Complex, and we hope that the weather holds good for the big match later on this evening, and um, so we get the JPL off uh, to a good midweek schedule. We go to break. Still a lot more to come on the Sports Match Zone. Back in a moment. <laughs> 